Oh yeah. First, let's grab solder bot. He's my helping hand. Now open them clamps and insert the XT60. Get some soldering wire and heat up the cup. Gently touching it. Don't push. Fill the cup like so. While that cools down, clamp the red wire on the other side of solder bot and tin the end you want to insert into the XT60. Put some solder on the tip of your soldering iron and with the help of some tweezers position them like so and gently touch it with the iron. Yep, that looks good. Now let's repeat this for the other side. Oh yeah, that looks good. Let's add some heat shrink tubing next. Make sure you push it all the way in. Now grab your favorite lighter and give it some heat. Now that our connector is done, let's get the ESC ready to receive it. Apply some solder to the VCC pad. Make sure you don't add too much solder. Now we need to tin the other end of our connector. Let's use the help of solder bot to accomplish this. With the help of some tweezers, position the wire to the pad and gently touch it with your soldering iron like so. Yeah, look how shiny that is. Next, we do a little cleanup work. I use isopropic alcohol for this. I apply some conformal coating. This step is optional, but highly recommended. Conformal coating will protect your electronics from wet situations, like for example if you land in wet grass. You know you're done when you can see your reflection. We are done. Don't be in the 